Hi friends, I have a math challenge for you today. I need you to really use your math mind. You're going to have to really think through this one. I'm actually going to give you the answer to a story problem first. Imagine that. I'm going to give you the answer first. Are you ready? You'll need a piece of paper and something to write with. The answer to the story problem is 10. The answer is 10. There, I just gave you the answer. You and I have to come up with the story problem. Hmm. Well, let's see. We've been learning about monkeys and giraffes today. I know that giraffes like to eat acacia leaves. Do you remember that from our safari? I wonder if we could come up with a story problem using giraffes and acacia leaves. You want to give it a go? Okay, let's see. I'm thinking there was a giraffe. Let's make a giraffe with a long neck and his long legs, his little tail. He's got some spots on his body. Did you make a giraffe on your piece of paper? There was a giraffe and there was an acacia tree. Let's make that acacia tree. And let's add some leaves. Hmm. I'm going to add lots of leaves to this acacia tree. I think I need to stop and add some branches. Now, before we get too carried away, remember the answer to this story problem is 10. We have to use the number 10 as the answer. So, I'm thinking that I want to have at least 10 leaves on my acacia tree. Let me see how many I have so far. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, there, I have 10. Okay, I may need to add some more leaves, but for now I've got 10 leaves. What could I say about this giraffe? Hmm. Maybe one day there was a giraffe and he was hungry and he ate five leaves from the acacia tree. I'm going to write down the number five. But he was so hungry that he ate five more. Five plus five is ten. The answer is ten. I just thought of a story problem where the answer was 10. A giraffe ate five acacia leaves and he was so hungry that he ate five more. How many did he eat in all? 10. Well, let's see, is there a different way that we could get to 10? Hmm, maybe the giraffe just ate four leaves to start with. Okay, I'm gonna put that. So the giraffe ate four leaves. If we know that the answer is going to be 10, how many leaves would he have to eat? Well, let's see. I'm going to cover up four leaves. One, two, three. I'm going to cover up those four leaves. How many leaves would he need to eat? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, four plus six equals 10. My giraffe ate four acacia leaves, but he was still hungry, so he ate six more. How many did he eat all together? 10. Way to go. Is there another way we could get to 10? Hmm. I'm thinking, what if we did seven? Let's start with seven. Our giraffe ate seven leaves, but he was still hungry. How many more leaves would he have to eat to get to 10? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All seven of these left leaves he ate. How many more would he need to eat to eat 10 leaves in all? Three, yes, yeah. seven plus three equals 10. I'm running out of room. Well, is adding the only way we can get to 10? No, let's see. We know that the answer is 10. What if we tried some subtraction? How could we get to 10 if we're using subtraction? I think I might need to add some leaves to my acacia tree. I'm thinking, hmm, I'm going to 
put 11 leaves on my acacia tree. And I'm going to say there were 11 leaves on the acacia tree. I'm going to start with the number 11. The giraffe ate how many in order for there to be 10 leaves left? Let's see, if there's 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 leaves on the acacia tree, and I want to take some away so that we have 10 left. Do you know how many leaves I would have to cross off my acacia tree? Just one, kiss your brain. Yeah, if my giraffe ate one acacia leaf, 11 minus 1 equals 10. So we came up with the answer 10 using subtraction. We could do it so many different ways. I want to see if you can challenge your math mind by thinking of the answer first and coming up with some more story problems. Okay, have fun challenging yourself, kiddos. See you later.